Hello and welcome back to my channel guys. I am Dr. Shikha. This is my English channel. The videos are dubbed by my team. Please watch the videos, appreciate them and keep sharing your love and support. Thank you so much. I am so tired. Today was a hectic day at clinic. I am very tired. Now what shall I prepare for dinner? It is too late. Shall I skip dinner today? No, I am very hungry. What shall I do? Shall I eat Maggi? No, shall I order a pizza? What shall I do? I am sure you must be thinking the same like me. When we return home and are tired after working the whole day, it gets so late and we do not feel like preparing dinner and especially when we have to prepare diet food for ourselves. Or when we have a hectic day at home, we are very tired after working. Nowadays, we are working from home from morning to night. Kids are having online classes. There is no house help. All work we do ourselves so we get tired till night. We do not feel like preparing anything separately for ourselves, as in preparing diet food or anything for ourselves. We just get one idea, either making Maggi or ordering pizza or anything from outside. A lot of us are already confused. We know what to prepare for breakfast and lunch, but when it comes to dinner, we are confused as to what should we have in order to lose weight. Dinner is something that if we do not have the right food, the whole diet of the day gets spoiled. So guys, today I have brought some dinner recipes for you through which you will lose weight quickly and effectively. Moreover, these recipes are so fresh and interesting. They are not like diet food at all. They will be very delicious and tasty and will get prepared very quickly. They are one pot recipes. Anyone can prepare them easily. Its ingredients are also easily available. They are inexpensive and get prepared with less ingredients. Guys, remember one thing always for your dinner. You should plan ahead. If you plan about the preparation of your dinner in the morning or afternoon itself, then guaranteed you will not eat anything unhealthy in your dinner. You will not think of eating Maggi, ordering food, eating anything unhealthy or skipping dinner. Because if you would have already planned the dinner, then it will be prepared within just 5 to 10 minutes. Because obviously till the dinner time, we are already very tired and we do not feel like preparing anything. These things have helped all my clients a lot. I always tell them to plan and prepare for their dinner beforehand. And for this reason, you will not feel like eating anything unhealthy because your dinner will get ready quickly. For dinner, always remember some things that you should finish your dinner before 7 or latest by 7.30 p.m. After that, you will not have dinner. Avoid salt in dinner. If you are a low BP patient, you can use 2 to 3 pinches of salt in your dinner. Otherwise, avoid salt. Never consume simple carbohydrates in dinner because they raise sugar levels quickly in your body and that sugar level which is raised is stored as fat in your body. So that is why you should use complex carbohydrates in dinner. Make sure to have only small portions in dinner. Keep your dinner very light. Do not have heavy fried or oily food in your dinner at all. So guys, I've brought some interesting dinner recipes for you. If you're on diet, it does not mean that you must eat bland or tasteless food. Absolutely not. We will eat very interesting and tasty food and still lose weight. So let's see how I prepare the recipes that I have brought for you in my kitchen. These are the recipes. To make soya chunks bowl, I have taken this cooker first. I have washed the soya chunks well with water. These are 1 cup of soya chunks. 
I will put them in the cooker. I am putting one cup of water in the cooker. Adding a little salt over here. Low BP patients and those who are maintaining weight can add salt. If you are losing weight, it will be very beneficial for you if you avoid salt in dinner. Close the lid of the cooker and cook till 4 whistles. I have taken a pan here. We will put 1 spoon oil in it. Adding some cumin seeds. Some red chilli powder. Some turmeric powder. I have also added chopped ginger. Some chopped garlic. We will saute it for a while. Now I have added sliced onions. Some tomatoes chopped in big pieces. We will saute it lightly. I am adding some salt to it, very less. We will mix it properly. We will mix it well. And close the lid for 5 to 10 minutes. Now let's remove the lid. After 10 minutes, tomatoes and onions have cooked well. Now we will let it cool down and grind it in the grinder. Side by side, let's check our soya chunks. The cooker had whistled 4 times. Its steam has released. Let's see whether they have cooked or not. Wow, they have cooked so well. Our soya chunks have turned soft. Now we will take a pan again. And the paste that we had just prepared by grinding tomatoes and onions in the grinder. See, it's looking like this. We will put it in the pan. Mix the remaining paste with water. And take it out in the pan. That's it. Now we will put the soya chunks that we had cooked in the pan and mix them properly. That easy guys, our soya chunks are ready. Now we will add some dried fenugreek leaves in it and some garam masala. They taste amazing. Mix it well. Put on the lid and let it cook for 5 to 10 minutes on low flame so that the flavor is nicely absorbed by soya chunks. It has been 5 to 10 minutes. It is cooked well and ready to serve. It is very very tasty and amazing. Do try it. It is one of my favorites. It is very filling. After having this you will feel full for a long time. You do not feel hungry at all. And it is very yummy and delicious. And it is protein rich too. We are making veggie paneer bhurji. I have taken a pan and I am using clarified butter or ghee. It gives a completely different taste to it. Adding some cumin seeds, some red chilli powder, some turmeric powder, I am putting one chopped green chilli, putting some chopped garlic, some chopped ginger, that's it. We will saute it, we will cook it for a while. I am adding a small chopped onion, one chopped carrot. Some chopped capsicum, one chopped tomato. I am adding some salt. Those who are on weight maintenance and have low BP problems should use salt. But those who are losing weight, it is better if they avoid salt. We will cook it well. We will cover it with a lid and cook for 5 to 10 minutes. 5 to 10 minutes are over now. We will remove the lid. The vegetables are cooked and have turned soft. I am adding cottage cheese here. This is homemade cottage cheese guys. 
this is made from skimmed milk if you want its recipe then do let me know we will mix it properly see we have mixed everything now we have turned the gas off now i'm adding a magical ingredient to it this is curd we will add 2 tablespoons of curd and then its texture will be so smooth and creamy it will turn moist it will have a little tangy flavor and an amazing taste guys you must have eaten paneer or cottage cheese bhurji but not like this i'm sure make sure you do try it it is a very rich source of protein and very nutritious it contains so many vegetables it will keep you full for a long time it is very yummy and delicious it's an amazing dinner option make sure you do try it In order to make masala eggplant I have taken a pan and putting 1 spoon of oil in it putting 1 chopped onion I have chopped it in bigger pieces 1 chopped green chili we will saute it a little I'm sure just the name of the dish must have made your mouth water I'm putting 1 chopped tomato I have chopped it in bigger pieces we will saute it adding some salt to it those who are maintaining their weight or suffer from low bp can use some salt adding some red chili powder we will saute it a little i have taken a egg plant chopped it in big pieces and i haven't peeled its skin i have cut them as cubes and putting in the pan we will saute it for a while cook it a little along with tomato and onion now it has sauteed we will cover it with a lid and cook it for around 10 to 15 minutes on low flame now after 10 to 15 minutes i am removing the lid our egg plant is ready to be served you see how quick this recipe is if your vegetables are chopped then it takes very less time to get cooked it gets cooked very quickly and is very delicious i am putting some lemon juice on it it will enhance the taste of the dish our egg plant is ready to be served it is a delicious and tasty dish make sure you do try it if you do not like egg plants i am sure you will like the dish so what do you think about my dinner recipes you like them right so definitely try them out and always remember one thing do the planning and preparation of your dinner beforehand so that you do not eat any unhealthy food you will like these recipes a lot because they are very tasty and they will keep you full for long and so you will not think about skipping your dinner or having unhealthy food so guys if you like this video then make sure to hit the like button if you are new to my channel then do not leave without subscribing along with that there is a bell button too make sure to press it so that you are the first one to get information of any of my videos and you do not miss any video at all if you are on instagram do follow me there this is my instagram id If you like my video I get to know that you are enjoying my videos and if you comment on my videos I get to know that you are finding them beneficial so I will keep bringing more such videos for you so guys in my next video I will tell you how to make peanut butter at home I received a lot of requests to tell the recipe of making peanut butter at home so I will tell you the same in the next video and that we can lose weight by eating peanut butter and how we can prepare it at home in a healthy way so that it gives you weight loss i will see you in my next video stay tuned guys bye for now